In this video, we'll explore the slope formula using the Desmos graphing calculator. The slope formula allows you to calculate the slope of the line connecting two points on a Cartesian coordinate plane. Slope is the ratio of the vertical distance between the two points and their horizontal distance. Slope is a property of the line connecting the two points. The slope formula relies on the coordinates of two points. One point has coordinates x1 and y1. The other point has coordinates x2 and y2. The slope formula calculates m, the slope, using this ratio expressed as a fraction. The numerator consists of the difference in the y-coordinates. The denominator consists of the difference in the x-coordinates. Let's create a slope formula template using the Desmos graphing calculator. Start by creating a Desmos window. You may want to log in. Input the coordinates x1, y1. x1, y1. You'll be asked if you want to create sliders for x1 and y1. You do, so click the All button. You'll see two sliders, one for x1 and one for y1. Click on Label to display the coordinates. Click and drag on the point to move it and see how the coordinates change. Change the sliders so that they show integer steps for the coordinates. Simply click on one of the numbers in the slider and set the step to 1. Do that for both x1 and y1. Change the step to 1. Click and drag on the point, and you'll see how the point snaps to the grid in whole number amounts. Repeat with coordinates x2, y2. x2, y2. Create the sliders. Click on Label. And remember to change the step value for each slider to 1. Then click on the point to make sure that it snaps to the grid in whole integer amounts. Now create an equation that shows the slope formula as shown here. m equals the ratio of y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You'll see that m is calculated here. This value of m is for the slope of the line connecting these two points. Move the points around and see how the value of the slope changes. Let's look at several cases. First, move the points so that x2 and y2 are to the right and above x1 and y1, like this. This is x2 and y2. This is x1 and y1. You'll see that with this arrangement, the slope is always positive. A line connecting these points slants upward in going from left to right. Second, move the points so that x2 and y2 are to the left and above x1 and y1. You'll see that with this arrangement, the slope is always negative. A line connecting these points slants downward in going from left to right. Third, move the points so that they have the same y-coordinate. You'll see that this arrangement has a slope of 0 and corresponds to a horizontal line. And you can see that a flat line doesn't slant in any direction, up or down, 
and so has a slope of 0. Finally, move the points so that they have the same x-coordinate, like this. You'll see that this arrangement has an undefined slope. The reason for this is that the difference in x-coordinates is 0, which means that the denominator is 0. Since division by 0 is undefined, then the slope is undefined. 